Hi guys, Josh here with Northern Frogger. Uh, welcome to the moving vlog. Uh, this is day one. Um, it's currently Friday. I have a U-Haul booked for Monday uh, where I'm going to move the bulk of all the tanks and everything. Uh, but I'm trying to get some stuff moved ahead of time to make it a little bit easier on the day. Um, and I think the first thing I'm going to get moved here is this aquarium, uh, just because I find aquariums to be a little bit uh, more of a pain to move than most of the other tanks. Um, and it can also just kind of uh, be okay on its own for a couple days um, if I don't get back there in time. And because it's kind of uh, a self-contained unit with its own stand and everything other than most of the tanks which are kind of, I have to move all the tanks and then move the stands and uh, this is one of the things I can move with my car whereas I'm going to need a, a bigger truck like the U-Haul or a pickup truck to move most of the other stuff. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to get this one uh, moved today and set up in the new place here. I'm not entirely sure how I want to do it yet, if I want to try and catch everything out of there and put them in a separate bucket or if I should just uh, drain the tank down really low and uh, hope they're okay. Um, it's not too far. The, by the time I get it drained, drive there and get it unloaded, uh, it'll probably be a little bit over an hour that they would have to sit in there, which I think is probably gonna be fine. Um, and it's also just gonna be really difficult to catch everything out of there. So I think the plan right now is just to kind of uh, drain it down, leave uh, maybe like three inches of water in the bottom uh, just so that I can move it without worrying about it cracking, uh, but that so hopefully there's still enough water left on the bottom that the fish uh, should be okay for uh, the hour trip to the new place. All right, so I've got the water starting to siphon out. I'm draining it into these jugs for now. I'm going to fill up all three of these uh, with the tank water to bring with me because um, I'm not quite sure about the water at the new place. It should be mostly the same, um, but it is in a different town even though it's close by and the water kind of has the same source, but I think they treat it a little bit differently. So uh, just in case it's a bit different, I want to uh, bring some water with me uh, to fill it back up. It won't fill up the whole tank, but uh, it'll at least be a little bit less of a shock um, if the new water at the new place is different. All right, uh, got the tank loaded up on the road. Uh, hopefully everybody makes it. I'll check in again uh, once I'm back at the place and refilling it. All right, uh, we made it to the new place. I forgot to bring extra GoPro batteries, so I'm gonna film this on my phone, but uh, I got the water jugs uh, put back into the tank here. Uh, starting to see some fish swim around. I think everybody made it. I don't see any dead ones yet, so uh, everything went pretty smooth. It was a little bit quicker of a drive, um, so it, they were only in that low water for uh, just under an hour. Uh, so now uh, I got to fill up the rest of the tank with the water from here, so um, at the end of the day it's about a 50% water change, so it shouldn't be super stressful for them. Uh, so I'll get this uh, filled up and get everything fired back up again. All right, I've got it all uh, set up and running again. Um, I've seen most of the fish back out. They seem to be doing okay, except for uh, most of the emerald eye rasboras. Uh, there's a couple of them swimming around, but uh, most of them I haven't spotted yet. Uh, so I'm hoping they're just still hiding down in the plants and that they uh, will turn up here. All right, so that concludes moving day one. Uh, first of many tanks to come. Um, that's probably going to do it for today. I'm gonna go home and uh, keep packing some other stuff. And then tomorrow, I think I'm going to uh, try to bring the snakes over here. All right, guys, uh, moving day two. I got the aquarium moved yesterday. Today, I'm going to move uh, my Doomerals Boa Doomsday. Um, I think I'm also going to move my Crested Gecko Toffee and then uh, whatever whatever else I can fit in the car there. Uh, might just be some other stuff too, not some pet stuff. But um, yeah, Doomsday and Toffee are getting moved today for sure. Uh, so I'm going to uh, take Doomsday out of here, put him in this tub for transport. Don't want the lid like opening while I'm driving in my car or whatever so put them in this locking bin uh, just for the transport and then I can just throw the cage um, in my car like this I uh, just reset it up at the new place all right uh, now I'm gonna grab toffee um, basically the same thing I'm just gonna throw her in a deli cup and then I can just basically move her tank uh, the way it is all right so I just have a deli cup uh, with a bit of paper towel just slightly damp in here and just this uh, perforated lid uh, for some ventilation let's see if I can catch her out of there without too much trouble. That wasn't so bad. Very fired down right now, but you can see Toffee's getting pretty big. So <laughs> try 
try and get her in here without pinching her tail. All right, she's ready to go. That went smoother than I expected. All right, so Toffee's tank is hooked up to an automatic mister. You can see the nozzle right here and the little T-valve right here. Uh, luckily, I have um, along the line in several places, I actually have valves uh, so that I can shut um, banks of tanks off. Um, so all I really have to do is uh, disconnect the line here and connect it um, into this valve and then uh, the mister will keep running for the rest of the tanks uh, downstream of this spot and then I can just uh, hand mist this tank uh, for the next couple days until I get everything moved over and I can hook it back up to the auto mister. Alright guys, uh, here at the new place, um, got the tank set up. Uh, this isn't going to be its permanent location but uh, it'll do for now for the next couple days. Um, so I got everything back set up. Brought the, brought the thermostat and his heater and everything. I brought a jug of RO water from home uh, because I don't have my RO unit set up here yet. Um, just to be able to give them some water. So I got his dishes filled back up. Um, I think I've got it all set up and ready to go. So I'm just gonna let him back in there. Um, the aquarium's doing all right. Um, unfortunately, it looks like I did lose a few fish. Uh, most of them seem okay, but the emerald eye rasboras, um, most of them seem to have died for whatever reason. Um, I gotta fish these out and see there's uh, one dead one right there. Um, there's a few still swimming around here, but um, for whatever reason, most of them didn't make it. Uh, most of the other fish seem fine though, so I'm not sure what exactly is up with them, but um, yeah, that's kind of disappointing. They were kind of my oldest fish actually. I think I had those emerald eye rasboras uh, basically since I started this channel. So uh, pretty disappointing to lose all those guys, although I guess I should have caught them out and transported them separately. Um, maybe had a battery air pump in there. I, mean, I don't know if they ran out of oxygen or, or what happened there, but uh, I guess for next time I will take all the fish out and move them separately. But uh, the tough part with those guys is that they're almost impossible to catch in there, um, especially with how dense all this vegetation is. Uh, they just get down in there and they're almost impossible to find. So. Uh, it would have been tough to catch them without ripping the entire tank apart anyway, so. Um, yeah, anyway, I just thought I'd let you guys know that. Um, so yeah, for future reference, try and separate your fish, I guess. Don't try to move them with a couple inches of water in the bottom of the tank, but. Um, anyway, I'm going to let uh, Doomsday go back into his tank, and then we will get uh, Toffee set back up. He's usually a pretty awesome snake, but he can be a little bit high strung sometimes. Um, somewhat understandable. It's kind of a stressful situation for him being moved like that. So it's going to plug the uh, heat emitter back in and uh, he should be good to go for the next couple days um, until I kind of get more permanent more permanently in here and I can uh, set him up properly in his permanent spot, which I still haven't 100% decided where that's gonna be yet, but uh, let's get uh, Toffee set up. All right, uh, just gonna set Toffee up down here for now. Um, again, this isn't gonna be her permanent spot either. I think she's gonna be in the frog room, um, but I just want her kind of out of the way for when we do the main move. I don't want anything in the frog room that we have to kind of move around on the day. I just wanna be able to kind of get everything in there where we got the help. So uh, she's gonna be set up out here out of the way for now. Um, so she's still in here, she's doing okay. I did bring a mister, uh, my little USB mister. Uh, but for now, I'm just going to uh, give her tank a good misting. Um, I brought um, some food and some uh, cups for her as well. And I've got some food mixed up for her. So uh, she should be just fine like this. I didn't bring her light just because the light that uh, this tank was using was kind of attached to the shelf that she was on so I was kind of a pain to move it so uh, she will be just fine for a day or two.
pressed it down. There you go. Uh, so put her food in here. Make sure the top is still latched, didn't come loose in the car ride or anything. Um, so yeah, I think she is good to go. Um, so that's basically the only animals um, I moved in this trip. Um, so basically uh, the last thing I have to do is go try and uh, fish out as many of the dead fish from the aquarium as I can so that they're uh, not sitting there fouling the water for the ones that actually made it. But yeah, I guess uh, I will see you again tomorrow uh, to do another trip. I think I'm borrowing a minivan so I can move a little more and uh, get a few more tanks moved tomorrow. Alright guys, um, it's morning of day three. Um, kind of over moving already, but uh, lots to do today. Um, day three of moving animals, but I've actually been moving all my other stuff for like the past um, over a week now, so um, lots of driving, lots of packing and carrying stuff. Um, back is starting to get a little bit sore, so that's not fun either. But uh, yeah, the U-Haul is booked for tomorrow, so lots to do today. Basically by the end of today, I have to uh, have everything kind of packed up and ready to go, so um, you know, that's kind of the, the pain. I know moving is always kind of a pain, but um, especially with moving animals like this, because you can't really um, do it gradually and like pack up ahead of time, like with all my other stuff, like clothes and stuff like that, I can kind of um, pack it up ahead of time, um, just go down to like the bare necessities that I need for the next few days and I can get all that stuff moved and everything, but you can't really do that with the animals because all the, like you kind of need everything, like the lights for the plants, you don't want to let those go for too long without light, um, like the misters for all the tanks, um, all that kind of stuff, like I can't pack up a lot of the accessories or supplies because I need those for like feeding and all that kind of stuff so it's kind of a, a mad rush to pack it up right before you move and then there's another kind of mad rush to reset everything back up on the other end so uh, it's going to be a stressful next couple of days but um, I'm thinking about it a lot last night about exactly how I want to do this and uh, the one thing I'm kind of worried about is with a U-Haul I mean I know those big trucks aren't always the best suspension it can be kind of a rough ride so with the glass tanks I'm a little bit worried about stuff breaking, um, especially with like some of these bigger, heavier ones. So I think what I'm going to try to do today is to actually move a bunch of these uh, small, tall exoterras. Uh, these are the 18 by 18 by 24s. I have eight of these on these uh, stands behind me here. Um, I did borrow my girlfriend's parents' minivan, so, um, cause I can't, well, I could maybe fit like two of these in the back seat of my car if I had to, but, um, I think I can fit quite a few at a time in the minivan and I think, um, it's going to be a much better ride, like the floor, like fold the seats down and then like, you kind of got like the carpet padding on the floor and just like better suspension. So it's going to be a smoother ride, um, a lot less likely to break these in here. I'm a lot less worried about the kind of smaller, uh, lighter tanks just because just because they're lighter. Um, they're less likely to break under their own weight if you hit a bump or something like that. So, um, And I want to keep the minivan clear for tomorrow because um, today I don't really have uh, much help for moving these. Um, and these are about as big as I could potentially move on my own. Um, but some of the bigger tanks like uh, this big gecko tank um, and my big like 3x3 three three, um Exoterra with the Variobolus in it. Um, I'm gonna need help to move those for sure. And I wanna move those really big ones in the van for sure. Um, so I think I wanna leave the van free tomorrow uh, for loading those ones up when I, have, when I have help. So I think I'm gonna try to move these ones today on my own um, so that I don't have to worry about putting those ones in the U-Haul. Those ones are kind of the ones I'm most worried about. Um, so I think the First thing I'm going to do is start breaking down the misting system um, and then I'm going to start making sure I get all the bottoms of the tank strained out, like all the extra weight uh, from the water and the drainage layer, try and get them as light as possible. Um, and then I also have to catch all the frogs out of them. Um, 
for a couple reasons if you're wondering why why i want to transport them separately um, just in case something breaks um, if, a, if a tank cracks or something like that i don't want the frogs to be able to get out um, also because i live in canada and even though it's like mid-april right now it's uh i think it's like minus five celsius outside right now so and the time it takes to load all the tanks up I don't want the ones that go in first to be sitting out there in the cold while I finish the other ones. So the frogs will get packed up into deli cups and then I can put them all in like a cooler um, to be transported separately so their temperature is stable and just in case a tank breaks or something I don't have to worry about those them escaping. Um, so yeah, I think I'm just going to uh, throw in a time lapse while I start breaking down the misters and catching all the frogs. And, uh, yeah, hopefully I can get all of these small talls moved today. We'll see how many I can fit in a load. I do think I have a little bit of help on the other end, uh, to help unload at least. So that should be nice. Um, and then, yeah, we'll see, see how far we get today, how many trips I can do. Cause I do need to still finish like packing and getting everything ready. Most of my other stuff is already moved, like I've already got most of my clothes moved, um, like our utility room kind of storage area is all pretty much cleared out already and a lot of that stuff is already ready to go. It's mostly just the animal stuff left that I have to deal with today, but uh, still going to be a lot of work, so I better get to it. Alright, uh, loaded up, um, headed out, so uh, got more than I expected in here, I got all eight of the small talls. Uh, the 24 inch tall ones and then I got one of the 18 inch cubes uh, loaded into the van here so uh, hopefully we make it there without anything breaking and I will uh, check in again once I'm there and uh, letting the frogs go back into their tanks <sighs> all right just finished unloading all the tanks at the new place <clears throat> That was a lot of work. I don't, know how, I don't know how heavy those things are, but too heavy to be moving that many in a row by yourself. Um, but got them all in here. Uh, I don't think any of them broke. They all look good. Can't really see the bottom of them, but I'm pretty sure they're all fine. So I'm just gonna let the frogs go. Um, yeah, and then uh, back to the other place to uh, load up again. Didn't bother bringing lights or anything. Um, they'll be fine for a day or two until I get all the lights hooked back up. Um, again, just left them out in a separate room because I want the, these tanks to be out of the way for when we move all the stands and everything into the actual frog room. And then I'll have to move these again onto the stands once I get those set up. But uh, yeah, I guess I'll uh, let these frogs all go. All right, so I got all the frogs released back into their tanks here. Um, as difficult as that was, uh, it's nice to get those ones out of the way. The small talls were one of the ones I was most worried about um, just because I was scared to move them in the U-Haul and uh, just because they are a pain to move. Um, so yeah, that went relatively smoothly. So now it's back to the other plates and uh, load up again with some more tanks. Back in the frog room, um, I think for the next trip, I'm going to try to bring all of the grow outs. Um, I was kind of thinking I would finish off with these ones, but I'm not too worried about these ones in the U-Haul. Like they're not crazy heavy. Um, might still have room in the van tomorrow. Um, but basically I'm just, I'm kind of exhausted after removing all those other big ones. Um, so I'm not sure I have it in me to move the rest of these today by myself. Uh, but all these grow outs are pretty light. Um, I can do them in a hurry. I don't think I'm even going to bother catching the frogs out just because it's going to take forever. There's so many frogs in all these tanks. But it is a little bit warmer than it was this morning. Um, still not super warm, but at least we're into like positive temperatures, so it's not freezing anymore. Um, and the van, uh, like I just got back here, the van is still kind of warm. I had the heat cranked uh, for the last part of the drive to try and warm up the inside there. Um, and then I think I'm just going to get all these off because I can move them fairly easily and fairly quickly. Um, get them kind of staged right by the front door there. Um, and then I can start the van and crank the heat. Um, and then just load them all in as quick as I can. Um, and then close it back up again. And I think they should be fine with the temperature 
Um, the one thing I am going to do is go along with some masking tape um, because the way these tops work, um, there's a just kind of a screen piece here and then a glass top that covers the rest but these just kind of sit in place. Uh, so I think I am going to take some masking tape and just tape across um, all of these tops so that they can't uh, shake out and fall down while we're driving. Uh, yeah, so I think that's the next plan. That'll probably be the last trip I do today. That first trip took way longer than I was hoping for. So uh, try and get all these ones out of the way and then I can spend the rest of the night uh, just kind of packing up and getting ready for tomorrow. <sighs> yeah, so I guess we'll get to it. Hi right, guys, I got all the grow outs moved and all the, uh, the 12 by 12 by 18s. Pretty good progress today. Pretty wiped at this point, uh, but time to go back, finish packing everything up. Some of the things I would think I will leave to the last minute, like tomorrow morning, I'll pack up all the geckos, uh, just cause I don't want to take away their heat overnight if I don't have to. So I uh, will shut down those tanks and pack those guys up in the morning. But other than that, I'm going to try to get all of the lights and uh, extension cords and power bars and basically everything else in the house packed and ready to load into the U-Haul for the morning. Uh, so yeah, I'll probably end it there for today and uh, we'll pick this up again tomorrow morning for the last kind of push. I do actually have a place uh, till the end of the month, so almost two more weeks, not quite, but uh, if I can't quite get everything tomorrow, I do still have a little bit of time to go back and finish things up. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the morning. Hi right, guys. <clears throat> All right guys, it's uh, early morning, day four. Uh, final day, kind of, probably won't be the actual last final day, but this is the last big push to get most of everything that's left uh, moved. I have a couple hours till I'm supposed to pick up the U-Haul and uh, about three hours till help shows up. So this is kind of the last dash. I'm just kind of enjoying getting some coffee in me and then it's going to be a kind of a mad rush to finish packing everything up. Got to catch all the geckos, uh, pull those out of their tanks and uh, my smooth sided toad and these last uh, a couple tanks here. Catch the frogs out of there. Um, and then just kind of run around and clean up all the extension cords and all that kind of stuff. I didn't get as much packed last night as I would have liked just because I was exhausted. Um, I ended up going to bed kind of early so I could get up early and finish. But um, a little sore today. Arms and <laughs> shoulders feel like I had a pretty good workout, which I guess I kind of did. But uh, it's going to make things a little more difficult today. Um, yeah, I guess I uh, better get to work here. Still have quite a bit to do. Oh, I can't wait till this is over. We are all loaded up in the truck. Uh, most of the stuff is out of here. Um, some stuff we still have to leave behind. I'll come get these with the van at some point. I'll have to come back and get all the tadpoles at another point. Uh, just because to move those, I have to put like lids on the jars. And so I didn't want to do that because I didn't know how long it would be till I could take them off. And... Oh, it's probably those crazy neighbor dogs. I'm gonna gonna have to come back and get the tab holes later uh, just because I have to put lids on the jars to move them and I didn't want to leave them there uh, too long. I wasn't sure how long it was going to be till I could uncap them and I didn't want them to run out of oxygen so I'm going to have to do that uh, when I can just pack them up and take them straight out. Um, and then yeah this stuff left my desk for now but I do have my computer and then yeah four tanks left. Um, but yeah pretty much everything else is gone. Uh, yeah, time to go. 
All right, guys, it's day uh, five or six, I think. Uh, kind of lost track at this point. The days are all kind of uh, blurred together for the last few days. Um, but uh, it's Wednesday today. Um, got all the animals in the place now. Um, I didn't really film anything since the last time um, we were in the frog room. On Monday there, I didn't film the unloading or anything just because uh, we were trying to get it done. Um, the, the day was going late. It takes... It always takes way longer than you expect uh, to do everything, so um, I didn't really bother filming any of the unloading or anything like that, uh, just because um, a lot of it was mixed in with my regular household stuff, and I don't know how much you guys really want to see, like, I was struggling to uh, get couches through the doors and stuff like that anyway, so. Um, but yeah, just to update you guys on the rest of that day, uh, we got everything unloaded, uh, everything went pretty smooth, uh, no broken tanks or anything, uh, which is good, I was a little bit worried, but uh, all the animals uh, have survived. Not that I was that worried, but uh, you never know uh, doing uh, a big move like that. Um, things can go wrong, but uh, yeah, everything went pretty smoothly. That night, I didn't do too much after we got everything unloaded. I was pretty exhausted. I still had to go drive out uh, to drop the U-Haul off. For some reason, they wouldn't let me drop it off in my town. Um, they said the, the lot was full or something, so I had to drive like half an hour away to drop the stupid U-Haul off. Uh, so that was a pain. So by the time I got home that night, I was pretty exhausted. So all I did was basically hook up uh, the heat lamps and the thermostats for any of like the reptiles, like the geckos and stuff that need heat. Um, and then I just kind of crashed. Uh, Tuesday morning, I basically just tried to recover a little bit. It's pretty stiff and sore. Um, I was also shipping out frogs that day. So I was kind of just waiting for the courier. Got a couple things organized and started unpacking a little bit, but uh, uh, mostly as you can see, all the tanks are just kind of everywhere. We just kind of dumped them all throughout this room. Uh, so all this stuff uh, needs to be dealt with. Got a few of the tanks along here too. Uh, but then yeah, Tuesday night or afternoon, evening kind of thing, I went back to the place, um, loaded up those last four tanks that I didn't get on Monday and all the tadpoles. And I didn't film any of that um, just because uh, we actually had pretty nice weather on the Monday for the move. But then uh, yesterday on the Tuesday, we actually got hit with a crazy kind of spring snowstorm. We got like 10 or 15 centimeters of snow. Um, but uh, it went back into the place anyway, kind of driving through the crappy, crappy weather and got, uh, got those last four tanks out of there and all the tadpoles. Uh, so yeah, that's basically all I did was drain the cups about halfway down cap them all, bring them back, uncap them. Um, that all went well. All the tap holes are good. Um, all the animals are back here now. Um, but yeah, now it's time to uh, get everything set back up. All right guys, I think I'm going to end this video here. I'm sorry to leave you hanging, but it's getting pretty long already. But that's basically the uh, tear down and moving of the frog room. Um, so in the next video, I'm going to go over the kind of setup process and give you guys a quick tour of what it looks like now. It probably won't be a full in-depth tour because we just kind of did one of those, but I'll just kind of go around, um, show you what it looks like now, um, some of the new features that are going to make things a lot better for me. So if you've made it this far in the video, uh, thanks a lot guys. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I didn't quite get to film everything as well as I would like uh, just because it was kind of so hectic and uh, busy trying to get everything moved, uh, making sure all the animals were okay. Um, and overall it went really well. Everybody made it through um, just fine except for those uh, few fish, the emerald eye rasboras and a couple of cardinal tetras that I lost. Um, so that was unfortunate, um, but lesson learned for next time I guess. But uh, So all things considered, I'm pretty happy with the move. I'm definitely glad it's over. But I'm in here now, I've got way more room. Uh, there's a few things I'm excited to show you guys. I've actually got a couple new animals. The uh, Calgary Reptile Expo has happened since I moved. Um, so I've got a couple new dart frogs and I just got a couple new geckos. So get subscribed if you're not already. Uh, like this video if you enjoyed it. That really helps me out. Leave a comment down below if you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for future videos. And until next time, happy frogging.